What is up, my most amazing Media Man fans? This is the Media Man. And before I get going on this review, I do want to thank Sean over at 11-Bit Studios for sending this game my way. I have been looking forward to Moonlighter for quite some time now, ever since I saw some concept screenshot art type stuff. Um, wasn't 100% sure what to expect. So let's get into it. Was it worth the wait? Was it worth the excitement on my part? I will let you know. So here we go. We're going to continue. Um, I have been playing this game for quite some time. You'll notice as you'll see how much money I've made in the game. Unfortunately, that doesn't work in real world. Wouldn't that be cool if you made all this money in a game and you can just transfer it over to, to real world, go pay your rent and stuff? So we're going to go ahead and start off here. This is, uh, you can go back to sleep if you want but one of the things I that really caught me about this game like right away was the graphical style this remi reminds me of Bastion which was a fantastic title if you haven't played it yet just gorgeous I don't know if it's the same people same uh, artiste but uh, it certainly has a similar look and that's a good thing so here uh, you have your chest, which is cool because you can actually um, transfer some stuff over. I transfer everything over except um, I need to sell some stuff. So the idea behind this game is you run a shop called Moonlighter, which is what this game is named after. Um, and uh, you also go into dungeons and fight monsters and bosses and get different things, different, uh, they drop different scales or whatever it is that you can then come back to the shop and sell. I will walk you through to show you exactly how this works. So first thing you need to do is pick some items that you want to sell. You notice this already came up as five automatically, that's five gold. Uh, reason being is because again, I've been playing this for a while and it remembers the last thing you did. So, I'll show you where this shows up in just a minute. Um, so, we'll, so, I'm, I'm not going to change it much. Just, I don't know how much that's worth. Well, I think I can probably get this somewhere else. So, we'll go ahead and sell this. And we'll make this one a hundred. So, you can make it whatever you want. But, uh, sometimes you do need to change it just so that you can actually sell it. So, we'll kind of show you how that works. Alright, good. So there you go. So all your items on the table. We are ready to open shop. Here we go. Here they come. And just kind of hang out. Watch what these customers do. See if they think it's fair. Yeah, I guess that was too cheap. <laughs> when you see the, the gold coins in their eyes, that means you, know, you could have gotten more for it. Well, that happens, I suppose. Yep, see? Too little. Probably the same thing for her. Oh no, she's just happy. That's good. That means you sold it for sold it. Sorry, English is hard. For a reasonable price, one that she's happy with, and one that's fair. So, show you something real quick here before we get going to the next section. I am going to sell this for a ridiculous price. Not a ridiculous price. Oh, I think it rem I, I think it actually remembers the price of this. So we'll go ahead and do 105. There's, it's not going to work. Trust me. Watch this. Huh? Nope. <laughs> I just thought that was clever. So we can go ahead and change this price, and it should sell. <laughs> that just cracks me up. Not a happy camper. She's happy with that. Okay. And there you go. Now this will keep going on until it hits nighttime and then the, it'll automatically close your shop. But I'm going to go ahead and do it earlier so that I can show you the next part. And this shows you what you've sold and how much you sold it for and how many of them. Because you can put, you know, several out on the table. You have four. Four things you can sell, but you can sell like ten of the light essence and five of the the cores, or however you want to do it. 
Um, but something you should know, a pro tip, <laughs> is if you put too many of them out and it winds up being like $200 for a bundle, that still might be too much for people. So there you go. So we're going to go ahead and exit. And it is nighttime. As you see, I have some armor on which is pretty darn cool because you can actually change your armor and it does make it does look different. So we're going to go into the dungeons. I'll go into the, one of the earlier dungeons and um, you'll probably notice that I'm not going to take as much damage as I, damage as I once did. Um, well, you wouldn't have seen that, but um, these are just a different... dungeons that you open up and as you go through you will eventually open up the big dungeon which we're not going to go in right now but you get these different parts and keys and things to open the dungeon so there you go we're going to go in one of the first dungeons that I did just so I can actually show you without uh, worrying about dying too much because there are some other things I want to show you about this game this is one of those games that does a few things and it does all of them correctly. Uh, the graphics in this game, again, are just brilliant, and I love, love, love the music. Okay. You have to watch out for these little buggers. He's going to shoot me. And then disappear. Aha! There you go. Now you can... You can sell what you pick up in the store, which is cool. Kind of like Monster Hunter in a way. Even though they don't really do any damage to me, simply because I'm a much higher level. This armor is the highest level armor I can get at this point in the game. I just want to show you how this works. There we go. Got him. Oh, lava! Lava Meister! If you time your uh, shield uh, at the right time, your defense at the right time, you won't take any damage from these guys. Yep, because not only do they shoot lava, they also will roll into you. Try to kill you. That's, that's what the monsters do in this, they all try to kill you, but they're not friendly. None of them are nice. So, um, there you go with that. That is the combat. There are some amazing bosses. If you guys want to see a walkthrough of this, let me know. I'm happy to do that. But right now, because I like to do live gameplay while I'm doing reviews, uh, it'll take me too long to get to a boss. So I do apologize for that. But one of the cool things I will show you is this is a pendant, and this pendant here lets you go back to town. And anybody who's played any of the Diablos or any games like that will understand what this is. So basically the scrolls, the town scroll that'll uh, bring you back to town. I'll show you something real quick before we go back to town. One of the really cool things is uh, you only have 20 spaces in your backpack. And of course I believe you can expand as you go, but uh, generally you don't have a whole lot of space. So if there's something you don't want or you want to make space for a bunch of loot that just you know shot out of a monster you killed or or that you uh, opened a chest and a bunch of really cool stuff came out, you can feed this to the magic mirror. They call this the magic mirror. And it will... Or merchant mirror, sorry. Mirror that turns items into a small amount of gold. So you'll still make money off of it, which is cool. But you can also get rid of it and not have to go back to town. So, speaking of, let's go back to town so I can show you a little bit more how this works. There you go. So this shows you the monsters that you've defeated. Um, the kind of monsters anyway, because I did you know, kill more than one of those little penguin floaty dudes. Um, so that's pretty cool. There's a lot of different character designs, monster designs that look really, really cool. I'm really, really in love with this art style. I've probably said it several times. You know, another thing that I think is phenomenal is the music. I love this music. It's very soothing. It's very cool. When it changes dynamically as you go into different dungeons. 
um, as you go into your house. So, you know, in town and all that stuff. So I think that's really cool. And this right here is where I actually got um, the blacksmith and the other the sellers. You hire them. And there's one I haven't got to in this particular game. I did play another game where I've gotten much farther, but I wanted to show you earlier on. Because I like there to be surprises. There'll be more dungeons. There'll be more places that you can go and upgrade and all that. So, but, oh, another thing I'll show you real quick. You can also upgrade your shop with different items. I, I bought new cash, ra uh, cash registers, a uh, sale box, which you can put a bunch of stuff in and, and be 75% off. So if you have way too much stuff, that's kind of a cool thing to have. So I'll show you real quick. This is the blacksmith. And this is where you get your gear. I have this stuff right here. So I have all the best stuff already. Um, so there's no point in me spending money. But I will show you, even though I have a better sword and shield, I will show you how this works. So yes, I'm gonna go ahead and craft this. He crafts it right there. And it goes into your inventory. And that is it. There's all kinds of different things you can buy. Um, I have the fist already. I actually can upgrade it, which is cool. I think I can upgrade it here. Not yet. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and just do this. Now notice you have like those bars down in the bottom right. You need more of those, so you can go over here to the. Go. Hello, Julian. Mm. So, one of the really cool things about this game is the items that you find in the dungeon, he winds up having. So, if you decide to sell them, um, you drop them accidentally, you feed them to your merchant mirror and you realize you need them, you can come back and buy them. Now, it does cost you, so you do want to try to be careful, but I thought that was a really cool thing. But, uh, yeah, so you can buy a bunch of these and uh, go back and buy stuff from the from the blacksmith um, and your town grows as you of course get more merchants and things like that so absolutely brilliant game um, I would give this a 9.5 out of 10 um, the only reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is there is some grinding and stuff like that but I'm really not gonna hold that against it too much anyway thank you guys for watching this video I love you guys so very very much I really appreciate it I'm very excited about uh, approaching 10,000 subscribers, and it's all because of you guys. I couldn't do this otherwise. So hope you like this review. Um, pick this game up. It is absolutely worth it. It is on PC and Switch, and I think it might be on the other consoles as well. I will check for you and leave it in the description as soon as I found out, find out. Okay? Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, check out my next video. i got a lot of really cool stuff coming up, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye now.